Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Dalton at Dalton A95 Pinch with another Transformers Legacy video, and that is going to be the Voyager class Predacon Inferno. The real Inferno, because, you know, fire. Uh, so yeah, there he is in fire ant mode with the weapon on top throwing, well, looks like flames. So, uh, rough bat, really nice head, we'll, or head sculpt. We'll look at that more later. There he is, screaming, probably for the royalty, or just, you know, just his random manic, excited screaming or laughing. Just This guy's a pyromaniac, emphasis on the maniac. So, there he is, 26 steps between robot and fire ant mode, and the same image we've been seeing for Decepticons. So, yeah, let's get it open and check him out. And here we have Inferno out of his packaging, looking Pretty good for the most part. Uh, I know uh, a couple friends of mine aren't too happy about uh, most of the kibble here with the legs and having the faux legs on the front. Uh, now, I don't think it's the biggest problem in the world, but I do agree, at least with these forms, that they, they should have made these at least pop off and just store aside or something. But other than that, for the most part, he looks really good. Like, the head sculpt is, once again, damn near perfect. I think you, you would just say here. Oh! I mean, that is straight up Beast Wars cartoon Inferno. Like, opening up the head, you know, you can have him screaming or just going crazy. His he is light piped. It is kind of hard to see. But he does have light piping in his eyes. It is there, and the eyes are unpainted. So, you got that going on. Of course, you get the silver and that metallic blue. You get the translucent blue eyes here for the ant mode. You got the, again, metallic blue, and then kind of this metallic purple here. Some more metallic blue on the thighs, a lighter shade, and then a darker shade again. So yeah, lighter shade to match the head, and then darker shade for everything else. Some black paint here on the shins and the toes. Then here on the back, you've got kind of this airbrushed purple. Got the metallic blue on the inside of the abdomen, as well as this spray of red. Now he does have gimmick where you can rotate it around so just open this up get these secondary legs out of the way and you can spin that around now as far as weapons they've decided to comp to combine both the show flamethrower weapon with the thruster that he's supposed to have for flying around but you put a bunch of blast effects in here Make it look like it's, you know, like throwing incendiary, incendiary uh, rounds. And then have these on the side. Because I know in the show he had the little side vents where flames would come out of as well. So you got that going on. Now, I know there is a couple of 3D printed ones out there. Uh, might get both of them, like one of the big ones and then two of the littler ones, but yeah, it's not bad. It's cast in clear translucent or you know, red translucent plastic painted over with gunmetal gray, and then it just plugs in back here with that little curve fitting against that hinge. Then you can use that to spin this around. have old blender or blender butt so we got that let me grab the vintage because it's one of the few vintage beast wars toys that i do have so you can see what they're replicating here with the new weapon so unlike before you or unlike the new one this original has you know Cool little gimmick, and then you got the rub sign here on the inner part of the abdomen, showing that he's a Predacon. But 
close that up. It kind of just hangs out there. He does have this right here, like before. So you got, now this is more of a homage to what the weapon looked like in the show. Or it can split up into two separate ones. Fold antenna back. Have him just use this as like a claw weapon. There we go. So now, as far as Inferno's storage for this, go ahead and pull this out and just go like you're going to amp mode. Closing it up. You can have that hanging out like that much <laughs> more pronounced this time. Of course, you can still hold it in his little two-fingered, one-thumb grabby hands. There we go. Let's so get that. Articulation-wise, it is pretty much what you'd expect. You got a ball-jointed head, very expressive for him. So, works for Inferno. Get shoulders that rotate 360 all the way out. Get a bicep swivel disc tight on mine, tighter than the transformation joint. Get double jointed elbows, mostly due to the transformation. Get a wrist swivel. It is on a double joint, because actually no, it's a single joint, but this rotates around it. So, got that. You do, as soon as you get these insect legs out of the way, get waist swivel. It is able to rotate 360, it's just difficult with the way this admin sits. Got forward and backward, all the way out, you get 360 at the thigh. A little less than 90 at the knee, just with the way the knees are designed, but you can undo that to get it all the way. So, got that going on. You get all the way down, and then some for the ankles. And get some downward and then the heel portions move so yeah fairly well articulated so let's go ahead and do one last comparison with the rest of the kingdom predacons and we'll go into transformation so as i can get him to stand he's very back heavy with this I'm trying to get these legs oriented just right as well There we go. There we go. That's better. So let me get the rest of the Predacons and we'll go from. Oh God, why won't you stand? <laughs> and here we have Inferno with the rest of the Season 1 Predacons. So, yeah, a. Uh, group of predatory animals, mostly consisting of insects and arachnids. Actually, there's only two insects and three arachnids. Then you get a flying reptile, which isn't even a dinosaur, and then an dinosaur. So yeah, there's Inferno next to the royalty, of course, and then, you know, the right-hand man on the left-hand side. Uh, some Stasis Lock viewers or former alumni might get the reference with that. If not, I can tell them in private but here they are all together and yeah so let's go ahead and focus back on inferno and check out his transformation all right so for inferno's transformation it is fairly simple go ahead and remove the blaster then from here we'll go ahead and rotate this bottom panel up and around like that that will just sit right there so don't do anything else with this bring arms out to the side. From here we'll untab that little hook from there. Open the chest up. Bring out the mandibles. And rotate these legs out of the way. Bring this whole ant head up and that will collapse around the robot head. Just kind of bring it down. And there we have his ant head. Now, here, there are two little squares. These thumbs will go right into those. 
So we'll bring them in like that. And up like this, bringing this. Oh, the whole hand wanted to move with it. I'll move that out. Actually, I do want the fingers pointing in. Never mind. So that will go into there. Bring that leg out. Collapse this section up. Bring this up and around. Again, keep those fingers inward. Keeping these legs out of the way. So we'll come down and these two will tab together. And the thumbs will just plug into there. So we got them mostly done. And from here, want to rotate the waist 180. Rotate the thighs and collapse legs down like that. Now the feet, these will fold up. Actually, just fold up and around like this. Creating... Oops. That kind of look going on. You want these tabs... Actually, you want them facing inward like this. Okay, so you don't have to rotate them around. So these will tab together. There's these two little posts sticking out here and these two little ports here. So you want this to all collapse into the abdomen of the ant. And actually you want to bring this waist section down like that. And then the thighs up. These will just plug onto there, and then this will just collapse down onto those two tabs that we saw earlier. Bring the whole section down and straighten out these rear ant legs. Just like that. What am I doing wrong here? There we go. There we have Inferno in his fire ant mode. Now as far as his weapon storage goes, the only real spot is right up here. So you have that going on. If you want to, you can emote the antenna around. You got these larger set of mandibles here. The small ones here, they don't really do anything. <clears throat> but you got no paint here on the head, but you still got those blue transverse eyes, as we saw for the chest. It is filled out here, so you get all that texture detail. Then here on the thorax, you've got this kind of airbrushed purple going on. Then down here on the abdomen, again, you've got that airbrushed darker shade of red. I wish he did have the the green highlights. Give me just a second. <clears throat> so here's the original Inferno. And yeah, he's a much more beefy and intimidating ant compared to the new one. Got these larger, more imposing mandibles here. There you go. You can spring out, bring out the second portion of the mouth and retract. Get the compound eyes going on, much more, you know, inquisitive looking antenna. And of course, just the larger legs and better thought out ones here for the legs because you actually get the full abdomen filled out here, whereas here it's just legs. But yeah, I wish I had, you know, the green going down the back. So, it is what it is.
I'm sure Toy Hacks is already on something, but uh, for comparison, let's go ahead and bring in the rest of the Predacons. And there are our Legacy and Kingdom Predacons in Beast Mode. So, yeah, they, again, look really great together. It's great to have the full season together again. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get Inferno back to Robot Mode and get on to Final Thoughts. All right, transformation back to Robot Mode is, again, not too bad, fairly simple. Pop this open, bring these, unpeg the legs from here, go ahead and extend the shins, pop the legs apart, bring out the feet and the heels, bring this whole section back down, rotate the waist. And unplug the arms, bring them down, rotate the front insect legs up as we rotate out. Just make sure you got the forearms or portions lined up as you bring out the fists. There we go. Then close that up. Bring that in. Close up the chest. And from here. Straighten these legs back here out, kind of getting them out of the way. That and there we have Inferno back in robot mode. Now, as I've said through the video are some things that I don't like and but overall I think he's pretty good like I, I wish he stood better like my copy has some play in the knees here so I might have to tighten that up uh, don't like how these extra legs just kind of get in the way mostly these ones uh, they just don't make posing him very fun and the fact that we could have gotten his proper flamethrower. He is back heavy, which is another thing, but I mean, he's got that. So that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I, I still really like him. I'm glad to finally complete the Predacons and for what it's worth, he does look great. I just wish I could get mine to stand right. There we go. So hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out all my other kingdom videos. This will be going both in my kingdom playlist and my legacy playlist. So please check those both out down somewhere on my channel, but check out all the other links down in my description below, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya. Take care.